If you want to become a successful freelance writer, it is absolutely important that you avoid these three mistakes. Hey there bosses, G Nontra here from Write and Prosper and on this channel I give you tips, resources and strategies that help you make a living with your writing. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join our community. Alright, so today I'm sharing three mistakes you have to avoid if you want to succeed as a freelance writer. Number one is not pitching enough now clients are not going to fall from the sky <laughs> all right as much as we all wish that clients would fall from the sky that's not how it works the way you get clients is for you to pitch yourself the way you get clients is for you to talk to people and so if you're here not pitching if you're here not talking to people not advertising not telling people that you are a freelance writer chances are you're not going to be very successful because you're not going to get clients to fill up your calendar in order for for you to make the money that you need to make to live on so the first mistake I want you to avoid is not pitching yourself and here's the thing everywhere you go is an opportunity for you to pitch yourself now sometimes it's gonna be a really really soft pitch and sometimes it's gonna be a hard pitch all right but whatever it is always be looking out for opportunities to let people know that you're a freelance writer when I go to speak in events I let people know I'm a freelance writer on LinkedIn I let people know I'm a freelance writer on Facebook I let people know I'm a freelance writer on my YouTube channel I let people know I'm a freelance writer wherever I go I carry that label of freelance writer with me so that if somebody is in that crowd that is looking for a writer like myself they can say hey you know I heard you're a freelance writer could you help me and that is an opportunity for me to then sell them on my services so always be pitching now it may come a time where you don't always have to pitch because you would have built a client base and enough reputation that people just send you work you get get work from referrals that point is coming but before you get to that point you absolutely have to pitch the second mistake I want you to avoid as a freelance writer are late assignments submitting your assignments late now listen if you are a freelancer there will be a time where you know you're working on a project and it involves more than you thought at the beginning and so it it there is a necessity for it to be late if that's the situation please let your client know that you know it's gonna be late and that's okay for them to know ahead of time all right so give you know if there is a legitimate explanation do give it but don't make it a habit of turning in things late because eventually what's gonna happen is that you're going to build that reputation whatever reputation you build is your brand right you don't want your brand to be she's always late with assignments or he's always late with assignments so when you're given assignments by your clients make sure you're submitting them on time or even ahead of time so that your clients are super happy they can get what they need to get done and you also build that brand of being somebody that is always on time and always reliable if you continue to submit assignments late and do things late it shows that you're sloppy it shows kind of you may not be lazy but it kind of communicates laziness and sloppiness and just general unreliability and you don't want that to be your brand so the second mistake you should avoid is submitting assignments late and then last but not least mistake I want you to avoid is not getting feedback all right so it's important for you as a freelance writer to consistently get feedback from your clients to see if they're happy with your work some clients are super easy and they'll just say hey this is great and they let you know consistently that this is great but you can take that even a step further by asking those clients hey what do you think I could do better with the pieces that I write for you what would you like to see and as I have done that with my clients and my clients of let me know you know what your writing is great but if you could do a b c d that would make me so happy i'm like you know what i'm going to do that because we don't know what we don't know right so if you go ahead and ask your clients for feedback they'll be able to give you the feedback that allows you to do an even better job so that you are retained as their go-to freelance writer drop me a note in the comments below and let me know where you are on your own freelance writing journey.